Estas son las mañanitas que cantaba el Bocadín. Hoy por ser día de tu santo te las cantamos a ti. My birthday. My birthday. It's May 16. How old are you going to be this May? 22. Anything else or should I go? Okay. My name is Rosalba Calleros and I'm Alan's mom. I've been working in Texas Parent to Parent for 11 years. We are a non-profit organization and we provide information and support to families who have kids with disabilities. And uh, you can see that Alan is very proud of that. <laughs> He is my first child. He was born with cerebral palsy. He is extremely social. He loves to be around people. A couple years ago, something happened and his personality changed completely. We didn't have any signs of uh, why he was behaving that way. So we started exploring mental health. After having a child with cerebral palsy for 19 years, I was pretty good on following up with all his treatments, whatever they were, but I had no clue of what to do with mental health. Because of the work that I do, I always refer people to the local mental health authority and they did an assessment on him. I don't think that they, they adapted the assessment to his needs because obviously before the mental health issues, he has a developmental disability and they were not asking the right questions. They were asking questions like, okay, when you're feeling this way, do you feel the impulse of buying stuff or driving fast or maybe crossing the street without paying attention? Like, he uses a wheelchair for mobility. He's not going to do anything of that. And he was given the diagnosis of bipolar. He was very edgy. And with those kind of questions, they lost them completely. He had an incident there that was very dramatic where he started like destroying things at the office. And basically I was walked outside with my child. He did some damage with his power chair on a car in the parking lot. I was totally ashamed. At the end, I realized that it was the nurse car, the one that walked me out. I'm sorry, I was not supposed to be laughing at that, but that it's good. You, I mean, it's not good, but you were not yourself. You would never do something like that in the right mind, right? Yeah, he knows really good the difference between good and bad, and he's an awesome guy. I was so lost. I was just desperate for help. I think that they didn't have the resources. They didn't have the training. They didn't know how to treat my child. Probably they felt lost the same way that I uh, that we were feeling lost. They need to have better training and better knowledge of developmental disabilities and a better way to communicate with them. He understands and he's bilingual, but you need to be patient and creative on talking to people with developmental disabilities. You can just go to, oh, let's see how it works because it's not gonna work. You need to get training. You need to get the tools. I had a very awesome network of support at work, but what about if I didn't have them? Probably I would be completely lost right now. There we go. <laughs> Having a child with a disability comes with many challenges. This is another one, but with the right support we can we can go through this.
agree? Mm-hmm. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> I'm sorry for the dog. Get down!